Hello. How are you? How freaking sick is that gonna be? Like, what? So he just extracted the venom on these guys yesterday and said they both put out an insane amount of venom. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. freaking do youtube you know the drill it's tyler nolan welcome to the freaking channel today we got my boy with us what's up michael what's up guys ladies and gentlemen michael jordan you've met him in a past shop video you remember what video it was it was just a shop video yeah it was just one of like a chill shop video that yeah. saw. michael's helped me out with a video before one of my homies pepe is sick i was sick all last week it's terrible, cold, runny nose, cough. I'm still a little coffee. It's, it's, it's been rough. Now Pepe's got it. He's down real bad. So we got Michael helping out this week with some videos. And you've never been in the sneak room before, right? Never. No. This is the first. And you're not really a snake guy. At all. <laughs> you're a fish guy. Yeah, I like to go fishing. fishing. Right? You like to go fishing. Well, there's like water moccasins and all that stuff out there, too. So you kind of have to be a little bit aware about things, right? Yes, sir. You ever come across water moccasins when you're fishing? Never. No? Uh -huh. No. Well, maybe we can change that. Do a little fishing video and catch some water moccasins. So today, we got a sweet little video for you guys. My good friend, Ray Hunter, who has also been in a few videos with me in the past, especially my snake bite video when I got bit by my old snake, Naga. He, Ray Hunter, actually owns Naga now. Naga is kept at Tom Crutchfield's house down in Homestead. But Ray hit me up a couple days ago. Ray just left the house a little bit ago. Michael Jordan got to meet him. What do you think about Ray? He's actually a really cool person. He's a cool dude, right? Oh, yeah. He's an OG. He's a gangster. He shoots himself up with Cobra Venom so that way he can get bit by things and it doesn't really affect him at all. Go look up Ray Hunter, guys, the Cobra Man. He is an absolute legend. And I'm very fortunate to be... A good friend of his. Thank you, Ray, for bringing me these new snakes. So Ray, this morning, was over at the house. He hit me up a couple days ago, and he's like, Hey, man, he's got, I got a couple snakes for you. He's like, would you like them? And I was like, hmm, what are they, bro? So he told me, and we're going to tell you in a little bit. We're going we're gonna to do a couple things before I show you guys these snakes. So Ray hit me up, asked me if I wanted these snakes for free. He just wanted to gift them to me because he knows that I love these particular kinds of snakes. They're one of my favorites. Um... Wanted to know if I wanted to have them. So he came over, brought them. I already took them out of these deli cups and put them in the put them in the bin. We wanted to sex them out. It is a sexed pair, which I'm also super stoked about. So I got a male and a female. Pumped, man. So we're going to show you these snakes here in just a minute. But first, Mr. Russ. Look, he pooped in his cage a bunch of times. His cage is a mess. We're going to do a little bit of maintenance first. I'm going to take Rusty out and show you guys him. Just because I always like taking Rusty out. See how he's gonna act today. Hopefully he's gonna, dude, he's been very nice lately. The other day I had him out, I was just sitting on my floor and I was letting him crawl all over me. I know I shouldn't, shouldn't be doing it, doing it on camera, but we were just, we were just feeling each other out the other night, dude. And he was just acting like such a gentleman and was just like crawling all over me and he was being super, super chill. So his temperament lately is just getting so awesome. So we're gonna take him out, see how he's acting today. Look, he's trying to push his head out the corner right now. But we're going to see how he's acting here in a minute. And then we're going to show you these new snakes and get them set up in this four-foot vision that I have up here. Like I said, it's a pair. So we're going to take them and we're going to set them up together. And then hopefully we'll get some babies next year. That would be pretty cool, right? All right. Russ. How are you, sir? Let's see here. Should I do this with no hook? Let's see how you're going to act today. Sometimes he comes rushing at me. Sometimes he is a good boy. Let's see how you act today. Oh yeah, he's gonna, let's see. Maybe we can go from this side. Do it a little smarter. See how he's going that way? Perfect. See, and that's what you wanna look for. You always have to read the snake first, see how they're acting. His head was going in that direction so I can come in safely on this side and take him out just like this. Super nice. Hello, sir. Look how, look how close he gets. It's crazy. He's just, I know I'm trusting him a lot. I probably should not be trusting him so much, but he has just been such a gentleman lately that 
Dude, I'm just able to look at this. Just hold him like he's a freaking big ass corn snake. It's crazy. Like he's just the, the temperament of this snake and the intelligence of a king cobra is just, pff, you can't compare it to anything else. Like he's such a smart, such a chill, dude, just such an awesome freaking snake. Everybody asks me now, like, Kilo was probably my favorite snake for a while. And Kilo is still my one of my main dudes. I still love Kilo to death. But, bro, Rusty is just, he's just a whole nother snake of his, he's just in a whole nother group of his own, man. He's just such a cool ass snake, dude. And I can't wait for him to get even bigger. Imagine when Rusty is the size of Kevin. Dude, how freaking sick is that gonna be? Like, what? So cool, dude. He's so awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put him in the brute can, okay? We'll put him in the, the holding receptacle, as Chandler likes to call it. And then we're gonna get his cage nice and clean. And then we're gonna set up the new snakes. And I'm gonna take them out and show you guys what we got going on, so. Mr. Russ, sir, let's put you in the trash can, okay? Things like this, thank you, sir. Oh, there's some stuff on here. Let me move that a little bit. Put you down like this. Oh no, the new snakes are in here. All right, so we gotta, we gotta think this out again real fast. All right, look how big he is, look at this. Dude, he is freaking huge, look at that. Get a whole body shot of that. Don't mind my messy floor, we were just messing with some snakes earlier when Ray was here. Look how freaking big Rusty is. It's crazy. I'm actually gonna put him back in his cage real fast. I gotta take the new snakes, put them in the other container, and then I can put Rusty in here, so. Got this all situated. Dude, look how I can hold Rusty. Look at this. Look, I'm just holding him like a freaking ball python. All coiled up. Just hold him like a baby. Look at that. Look at this. It's crazy. Like what? So cool. Just such a good snake now. It's crazy. Look at you. Hi, handsome man. How are you? Put you in the garbage can. Just like this. Nice and safely. Look how big he's getting, dude. Look at that, dude. Hey, sir. Can I touch you? No, I'm not gonna do that. I want to pet him on his head so bad. Just give him little chin rubs. Such a cutie. Alright, so now let's get Rusty's cage cleaned out a little bit. We got some spicy freaking meatballs up in here. He had a huge Burmese python a couple weeks ago. Like big, like freaking five, six foot. This is a pretty big size meal for him. Got Rusty's cage nice and clean. Let's put him back in it. And then it's time to show you guys the new snakes, which I'm pretty pumped about. All right, so let's get Rusty out. Check this out. Ready for no hook out of the trash can? I love that I'm able to do this now. Like, remember when he was a baby, he tried to murk me all the freaking time. There was no way I would be able to just open up the can and take him out barehanded like that. I always had to use a hook to get him out the can first. But now that he is, uh, we've established somewhat of a relationship and he's chilled out he's a lot easier to handle so I could just go open up the trash can reach my hand on in there say howdy do to my boy and put him back in the cage pretty easily right once he's in his cage like he'll still come after me once he's in his cage see that like he'll hood up and come at me tries to act like he's all big and bad but we all know he's a sweetheart kind of all right Russ Thank you, sir. Appreciate the cooperation. So now, it is time for the new snakes. We gotta get geared up because they are spitters. Some of my favorite. I know you guys know I love spitters. Not a lot of venomous keepers keep spitters just because they're a pain in the ass. They spit all over you. It's just not ideal. Um, you can become very allergic to the venom, like Dingo is allergic. Um, Chandler doesn't keep any spitters either just because he doesn't want to deal with any of that stuff either. But me, I have always, like, when I first started keeping Venomous 15 years ago, uh, Naja Palita, that was, like, my favorite thing to keep, which are red spitters. 
Um, I had a bunch of red spinning cobras at the time. I had, I even had zebras way back in the day, which is what I'm about to show you guys right now. Woo! I am excited. You know what? I'm gonna handle these guys with my hex armor gloves. Because why the hell not, okay? Let's, let's get nice, close, and personal with these babies. I'm really excited about it. When Ray called me the other day and asked me if I wanted these guys, I was like, uh, yeah, dude. Like, why not? Hey, let's see what we got here. Hello, sir. So, like I said before, this is a sexed pair. Now, we didn't even know that it was a pair. Ray Hunter wasn't even... Oh, wow, did you see that? You just spit. I literally got it. Did you see that spit? That, that was, was good, crazy. right? So, Ray didn't know that it was a sexed pair. These were given to Ray the other day by someone that I don't exactly remember who it was. But bro, look how sweet these freaking spitters are. Zebra spitting cobras. Now, they're very, very similar to the rain calls that I have. Also, a South African cobra. These guys are almost, I think they're, he said they're what, three or four years old. Okay, got some good size to them. We're definitely going to start feeding them a little bit more regularly. They're a little bit, not on, they're not skinny snakes, but they're definitely a little smaller than I would like. I would definitely like them to be a little bit more thicker body. Look at the female right here. Hello, how are you? Now, he said they weren't really spitting a whole lot the other day when he had them. Ray's had them for a couple weeks now before he decided to give them over to me. But dude, look how freaking cool these snakes are. Look at those stripes. So this apparently is the, let's look at the tail of this guy. Yeah, so this is apparently the male. You can see at the end of the cloaca, it's got a little bit of thickness at the end right there. His head is a little bit, head is, his head is a little bit on the wider side. So this is the male. Um, a lot of people also call them black neck spitting cobras. See, because the underneath their, underneath their hood, freaking face all right well he got me in the face really good i'm gonna go wash my eyes out because these are not the best glasses to be using and he definitely sprayed me a little bit oh god my eyes are burning let's go take care of this i'll see you guys here in a second oh, this is so shake oh god oh god oh man oh mm. oh just a, even just a little bit <laughs> sucks, dude. Oh, my left eye, bro. Crap. You literally just think, though, that, like, dude, I know. I'm so stupid. Like, why did I do that? <laughs> that was terrible. I should have, I should have used the thicker goggles. Oh, man. Hopefully, it doesn't, hopefully, it doesn't mess my eyes up too much. <laughs> God dang it, dude. Yeah, look, these glasses are not very thick, so they don't really protect your eyes as well as you should. See, Michael Jordan here, on the other hand. See, Michael <laughs> has the thick glasses on, Safety so if things. I was wearing glasses like Michael had, I would be totally fine. <laughs> but, I wanted to make sure Michael Jordan was the safe one today, and I put myself in danger a little bit. Dude, look at how bad he got me. That, especially that left eye. Like, there's not a whole lot of space. Like, some venom definitely got up in that little corner part. Oh, wow. And it tingles. Ah, oh, man. It, it burns, dude. Oh, God. Not good. Is it red? Is it a little, can you tell? Is it a little it's irritated? It's just a little How's irritated. How's it look? Is it puffy? Is it swollen yet? No. Nah, no? You're good. All right, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to put on some better goggles because that was... That was real dumb. I'm gonna get rid of those. So I'm gonna put on some better goggles right now. My eyes on fire, dude. Um, we're gonna continue talking about my new snakes and uh, we're gonna put them in their cage nice and safe. And then I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna go get some milk or something and just flush my eye out because this is not good. I have to tattoo today too, so. Oh, Time to go through this for you guys. Dude, that freaking hurts, dude. All right, I'm gonna go put some big goggles on now. Much better! See? This is what I normally wear because it keeps me completely protected. See? You can shoot me all over the place. 
and nothing will happen. God. Oh, man. My freaking eye. Ah. Not fun, dude. Not fun at all. All right, so let's try this again. Hello, guys. You freaking jerks. You little turd. At least they're freaking pretty, man. I can't be too mad at them. Hello. How are you? God, they're so pretty. They're fat heads. So cool, right? Look at that. Such a cool freaking snake, dude. Now, the venom yield on these guys is actually crazy, too. Now, you can see how fat their heads are. Look at that. See the venom glands on the sides of their heads, bro? They got big old fat heads. Very similar to that nausea. I'm not even going to say the scientific name because last time I said the scientific name, a lot of you guys got mad at me. That's what they're called, okay? The black spitting cobras, they also have very wide heads with huge venom yields. Now, Ray Hunter, he was telling me yesterday, he just, Ray also is a venom extractor. So what Ray does is he extracts venom from all the different kinds of animals, all the different kinds of cobras, and then they sell it. They sell the venom. So he just extracted the venom on these guys yesterday and said they both put out an insane amount of venom. So we're just going to go ahead and safely put these guys back in their new home. Michael, watch out for that female right there coming out. Hi, friend. So we're going to put this guy, get him nice in his new cage. Perfect little setup. This is the cage that I had the, uh, man, my freaking, dude, my eye is on fire. So this is the cage that I had the indigo snake in. Oh, the female's coming out. So I just cleaned it out, put a new water bowl in it, put a new hide box in it, and they are good to go. This is the female. Hello, sweetheart. She is see, she's a little bit lighter. Now, the zebra spitters that I had back in the day had a lot higher contrast on them. There's a few different subspecies of these guys in different localities, and they have different colorations. These guys um, are just a little bit lighter, especially this female. She's got very lighter coloration. The bands aren't too dark, but still a beautiful animal nonetheless. So let's get you in your cage. Hold you like this. Put you over here with your boyfriend. And there you go, dude. Awesome. Now, I also have FWC coming to do an inspection in the next couple days. So, off camera, I'm gonna, I'll take these guys out again later. I'm gonna let them get settled in. As you know, anything non-native. Now we have to take pictures of them and you see how all the cages, like the gaboon we got here, the banded we got here. So now we have to have pictures of all the snakes on all the cages so that way if anything were to happen, any escapes or anything like that, um, FWC or the fire department or whoever else has to come here help me out with everything. If I'm not here, they know what these animals look like. So that's pretty much it, dude. I was going to do a little bit more in this episode, but I was not planning on getting spit in the face by a freaking spitter today. That is one of the... It's one of the things that you just have to keep in mind with when keeping spitters, you know what I mean? They spit a lot, and especially these guys. So you have to really be on you gotta really be on your game and not be stupid like I just was and use way too small of glasses. Those those glasses suck. The only reason why I put those on is because Ray told me that they're not they don't spit a whole lot. So I'd kinda of like trusted his word not saying that it was not trustworthy but like obviously different experiences I was holding them a little bit different I was kind of moving my head back and forth I kind of I was asking for it you know what I mean I was trying to get him to hood up so I can get him to spit for you guys and it worked I just didn't really plan on getting spit in the eyeball oh but that is it episode complete safely safe enough you know what I mean I did my first snake video. Yeah, <laughs> first snake video helping me out. I get spit in the face by a spitter. How do you feel about that? I'm glad it wasn't me. Yeah. I feel bad for you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I can good. only imagine. Yo, let's show everybody that shirt that you got there. Look at that. New pickup. These are the new Sunshine State shirts. Let me see the back of that bad boy. Woo, look at that, dude. Freaking Vice City. Dude, that shit is fire.
TylerNolanTattoos.com. Pick up your merch. It's almost Christmas. Go get some hoodies, get some hats, get some t-shirts, get some all sorts of fun things. All right? I have to go to work. I really need to go to, like, I need to go to the grocery store and get some milk or something for my eyeball. Thank God. Like, I know. I've, I've been spit in the face a bunch, so I know how to handle it. It's not, if you leave it untreated, you don't do anything about it. If it's a really direct spit into your eyeball it can really mess you up you can go blind um luckily we're here it wasn't a bad spit it just got a little bit in my eye but even a little bit goes a long way luckily i ran right to the sink flushed everything off my face and then flushed my eyes out it still burns pretty good but i think i'll be just fine all right yes sir. michael appreciate you homie no problem. until next time guys peace out hope you enjoyed the video Stay safe. Don't let spitting cobras spit on you. It's not fun. So, till next time. Okay, bye.